What's up guys, today using Midjourney, I'm gonna show you guys how to create your character, blend your character, and then apply expressions and emotions to the character, and then also apply those expressions and emotions to a character portrait. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, let us do our character design. For my character design, I went ahead and just did uh, frontal close up. I think it's really important that you add frontal just because we want to focus on the facial features first, uh, given that it's going to be about expressions and whatnot. So, frontal view, beautiful woman, long green hair, bangs, brown eyes, just some generic descriptors for the character that I was looking for. I added the Niji parameter, which kind of makes it take on a anime style. Of course, you don't have to do that. But the goal here is to come up with four pictures that are kind of similar that fit the character that you have in mind because you need to get those URLs and we're going to use them later to blend our character. All right, just to show you guys real quick, uh, when you're using the mid journey prompt and you get uh, the response and it comes in this four quadrant thing that's considered one image, the way you can separate those in case you want to use more than one for your reference is you actually add a reaction and you click this one that's the standard envelope emoji and what that will do is it will actually have the discord bot uh dm you the four separated uh pictures that it has come up with and it'll also provide you the job id and the seed number of course um once it does that you can download these images separately and get their URLs, which you will need for the character blending part of this. Alrighty, based on how Midjourney weighs URLs and then your standard text, you can't just put the URL blend and then put smiling. Otherwise, it'll put too much emphasis on the smiling and it won't exactly be your character smiling. It will just be a woman or whatever smiling and then take some of the features from your character and add on to it. So you need to describe uh, your character almost very similarly to how you did before, but we're going to add the expressions. So I put in this one, happy woman, smiling, beautiful woman. That way we get the smile. You can make it even more expressive by exaggerating the thing like smiling with mouth open etc so the real key thing here is to keep your URL character blend and you're gonna do the same four URLs or however many URLs you're using each emotion that you do I would say add more than one emotional depictor and then always include the seed number throughout these so once you have the character that you like establish the seed and use it throughout and just attach it at the end Alrighty, and just to show you guys uh, some of the other expressions that I've tried out, uh, this was the original, Smiling Beautiful Woman, I already showed you guys that one, but here's this one, Angry Woman, Serious, I kept Beautiful in there, um, stuff like that. Sometimes I want to keep the text prompt a certain length, uh, so that way if I'm not seeing a certain aspect, I might chop off some of the things that I think are unnecessary, I think later on I did that with eyes. But here you can see scornful or disgusted. And there's a lot of words to use and choose from, like mopey, depressed, sad, sorrowful. So go ahead, open up uh, a dictionary or encyclopedia and just get as many descriptor words as you can to apply to your text. You can add tears, everything. Alrighty, so what we are doing here is creating a reference image for a more full body version of our character. Before it was just a regular headshot and we were just focusing on the face and then creating expressions with the face. Here we're gonna go with the body image. I didn't get a full body image and I was kind of strapped with time so I, I was kind of content with this for my character but if you want the hands and legs and feet, if you have a prompt and it generates that for you, use that as your reference image. As assuming it looks like your character and you'll be able to generate expressions with that and their full body in it. Um, but the important thing here is to change the POV descriptor and then keep it as a standard description of the character. We don't want to add the expressions just yet because this is going to be a reference image. And then I changed the aspect ratio to two to three to create that more portrait uh, layout format for my image. 
Alrighty, and if you guys are enjoying this video and finding it helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, and leave a comment letting me know how it has affected your mid-journey success. Now, I want to try to explain this really carefully for this new URL blend we're going to do. For the full body image, we wanted it to be a standard expression. That way we could use it as a reference. And we're using a headshot, just the face, for the expression URL reference because obviously that's where the characteristic of the expression really comes from is in the face. And if it was with the full body image and we tried to combine the two to our standard character image, there might be some details like the clothing or something that creates uh, minor discrepancies in the image that you might find annoying or might poke out. And this is just for creating a more consistent character, I believe. And another thing I did in this instance is I added text weights. As you can see, I actually combined an angry uh, description with also crying and teary eyed. And the text weights are the two colons. I'm not gonna get in too much detail, but um, it determines how much emphasis Midjourney puts on something. So if you put two colons, it's gonna have a text weight of one. So it's gonna put equal emphasis on the prompt that says uh, wide angle image, full body image, angry woman, yada yada all the way to leather shoes and green haired woman crying teary eyed and that's what produced those images and as you can see they are really expressive characters and i would say this is the easiest way to do this alrighty guys and i hope that was a quick and easy way to add expressions to your character uh, leave a comment if you need me to clarify anything i will reply other than that have a great rest of your day